Yeah, so we're, we're constantly getting uh, pounded with this. Is now a good time to invest in real estate? Uh, and then specifically, is now a good time to invest into uh, commercial real estate? Yeah, in the form of self storage or maybe even multifamily. But we're going to concentrate Wait, on self storage centers, everything. because we have a rock star <laughs> in the self storage uh, industry, Jacob Vanderslice. Superstar. Welcome to the show, my friend. <laughs> you, you guys are uh, you're too kind. Good, good morning and good afternoon. So, <laughs> just out of curiosity, how much square footage are you guys uh, controlling right now? Do you know right off the top of your head? We're at about uh, about a million seven. Wow, that's a lot of boxes. It's a lot of boxes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a lot of a lot of metal boxes all around. And the empty country. wine bottles. <laughs> Man, that's People just, save the strangest stuff. It's just, I really do. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, you understand the industry com completely in all sectors, and you know, the big, the biggest issue is uh, the the rise of property values and the prices that you're having to pay for for properties. Uh, what are you doing to number one find the good value add stuff, and are, are you just having to deal with a little bit lower cap rates right now? Well, I think the challenge of deal flow is systemic across all the asset classes that we, we, we all focus on, whether it's single family homes, multifamily, industrial, self-storage. There is a lot of capital out there right now that wants to be allocated to hard assets. You know, the stock market's getting very long in the tooth. We're seeing, um, we're seeing very much a, a pivoting of capital from, from traditional publicly traded equities into private real estate vehicles. And with that pivot, we're seeing a lot of cap rate compression and therein we're, we're having challenges with deal flow. Um, most of the deals that we source are, are through uh, relationships, broker relationships, direct to seller relationships. Um, that being said though, we're, we're still paying more than we used to a couple of years ago. And that's, again, that's universal. Um, one of the challenges that we're seeing specifically in the deal flow front is there is an historically low cost of capital out there and people are paying what we believe are very compressed cap rates because their yield requirements has gone down. It's, do you want to make a zero or do you want to make a four? And they say, well, we want to make a four. We got to get money out. So what we're thinking that we're seeing in a number of the deals that we're missing by millions of dollars are buyers are underwriting to, what may or may not be untenably compressed cap rates when it comes time to sell. So as you guys know, the model will tell you whatever you want it to. And mm -hmm. if you're buying a deal and you want to be conservative and you say that deal is going to sell to seven cap in five years time, and you make an offer based on those assumptions, you may not get it. Somebody else is going to come in and say, we're going to say this deal is going to sell to five cap in five years. So they can, they can pay exponentially more than the person buying the deal at a seven cap in five years. So that is, uh, that is one of the many reasons why we're missing deals out there. We are still getting product. We're getting inventory that makes sense that uh, we believe has good risk adjusted returns, but we're certainly not finding as much opportunity as we'd like. Right. Well, we, uh, Jonathan and I had a, a local uh, RIA subgroup meeting last night and we're, we're, we're hearing that from, uh, you know, the people in that room, the exact same thing mm -hmm. that they are, constantly getting out bid uh, and then they're also they're coming with cash they're not look, looking for to have any kind of financing and, and that gets uh, tough when you're trying to get into the commercial self-storage arena it's hard to come up with that much cash but you're right we were having that discussion exactly last night that and, there's a lot of capital looking for a home and compressed time frames to close i mean you you know, you usually see people like in the commercial space, like, you know, 60, 90 day, you know, due diligence. I mean, we're seeing more and more people closing at or inside of 30 days. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. yeah you, you can't do your proper due diligence in that short period of time. They're just, they're just taking it uh, basically no inspections, so to speak. <laughs> yeah. No. We're, we're, um, we, we were doing a lot of 60, 30 contracts and, and now we're doing more like 45, 15, just to hope to be competitive. Um, sometimes 30, 30, but that's not a lot of time to, uh, properly evaluate a, you know, $15 million acquisition, for example. 